Okay, today is October 1st, 2024. It is currently Tuesday. So, today marks a tragic anniversary in American history where in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, tonight actually, it's going to be the anniversary. It hasn't happened yet. I mean, technically, if you want to get to it, it happened tonight. But there was um, a festival going on in Las Vegas. Right between, you know, some casinos, the Mandalay Bay, Mandalay Bay, which contained a shooter 34, 32 stories up, and he had a bunch of weapons that he brought in illegally, obviously, in suitcases, though, so, I mean, it's a hotel, you know, it's not really unusual or suspicious to do that in a hotel, and also, he brought it in on different shifts you know so what he did was he brought a few in with one guy one bellman then he brought it in with another bellman bellman so he did it kind of strategically and he de declined it like service to his room and <clears throat> just a bad time and around 10 5 p.m i'm assuming las vegas time because i'm central in alabama and um, he uh, opened fire. I do not want to speak this shooter's name. I don't really want to pay much attention to him. I might tell you some things about him. If you want to figure out his name, you can go look it up yourself. I strongly encourage that you do your own research, you know, and come up with your own opinions. But this guy, he was a millionaire. He's an old man, he's in his 60s, he's a goddamn millionaire, but he was spending all of his money gambling, and this is allegedly one of the motives. We never really found out his motive in the near, basically seven years, you know, almost a decade since the crime. And what he did was, within 10 minutes, 10.05 to like 10.15, he killed 58 people. Eventually the death toll within the coming years would rise to, to 60, because... What he did was he used very high-powered rapid weapons, and a few people died years later from complications from their wounds that they sustained that night. I think one in 2019 and one in 2020 to be more specific with that. But what this guy used was a bump stock, basically an AR-15 with a bump stock, because you know a civilian AR-15 is semi-automatic, meaning you have to pull the trigger each time to get a bullet to come out that muzzle so to fire around you keep pulling the trigger but with a fully automatic bump stock you just hold down that trigger and it just you know you know what i mean like the gta games okay just fully automatic and um it's not really legal, but he did it anyway. I mean, why would he give a shit? He wouldn't live past the shooting anyway. <clears throat> he had a 308. I believe he had a bolt act. That was the bolt action rifle, which is way slower because it's a bolt action. You know, you gotta, every time you fire around, you got to manually eject it. And with his AR, he would just shoot with the fully bump stock. And he had he didn't have tracer rounds though, so he was very inaccurate. Plus those things when you have a bump stock and it's firing that rapidly, you, aiming you don't aim, you just kind of just shoot. But there was twenty two thousand people huddled together, so I mean you know the guy all he really had to do was kind of just judge where his shots were going, and that's what he did. He had a note for target distance, and uh, he was kind of experienced in gun sort of the gun stuff to say the least he had dozens upon dozens of guns ARs all kinds of stuff mostly probably ARs and uh, pistols he uh, shot himself with a three uh, no uh, I forgot but it was a revolver I forgot what kind but whatever he's dead it doesn't really matter but I'll, I'll look that up there's a bunch of different kinds of calibers of revolvers alright so basically that's what I'm talking about. He had a bolt action rifle. Like, I think he had like 14, 15, over a dozen AR 15s. Most likely fully bump stock. So, what he did is he just fired 
fully automatic until either the gun jammed or he ran out of ammo. He didn't bother reloading because, I mean, he had 15 guns. So he just, just you know, just grabbed another one. You know, probably, you know, did the thing. I don't know how you do it, but you just kind of put a bullet in the chamber. He probably had the magazine already in it or he had the bullet in the chamber. I don't know what he did. I'm not him. I mean, because he's dead. So I couldn't be him. But uh, I'm really fueling the conspiracy theories right now, and I? But sad day, 60 deaths, and 61 including this ass wipe, but I don't really like to count that. Um, what can I say? Most, some people that were injured there have grisly injuries, lifelong injuries, lifelong disabilities. And I mean, there were so many injuries that there, there, there's not an exact counter. I don't think, I mean, it, it, it's hundreds somewhere in the hundreds were, were wounded by gunfire, but they probably didn't, they didn't get it exact for a long time. They really don't still don't have it. I mean, most of that night is known today, but most of the shooters actions more than a week before it are just unknown really. But, based on what his, his uh, brother said, uh, Eric, he just didn't understand it. He, he didn't understand why. He wasn't uh, connected to any organizations, to say the least. Like, um, you know, people suspect the CIA or MKL or stuff like that. They always do that. But his motive died with him. I don't know about any autopsy reports. I mean, they can't autopsy him now. They didn't bury him. They cremated him. But um, I don't know if there's any autopsy reports. I'll probably do that. I don't. I don't know if he was on drugs. I mean, I know he was taking some sort of anxiety pill, but that's about it. I mean, those don't really make you trip out. You know, they make you tired and probably they're like tranquilizers. I've taken them in the past. But other than that. I, I really don't know. I mean, he probably was drunk. I mean, allegedly, I don't know. I'll I'll try to find that on, uh, God forbid, Reddit. Found a lot of sh stupid shit on Reddit. But anyway, I just I don't even know what to say about the shooting. Just I guess pray for the victims and their families, mostly their families, because the victims they 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 the the ones that were dead they they. They actually got it goddamn easy. It's the ones that survived and have lifelong injuries. And, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, say that they're not victims either. But, you know, their suffering ended that night, if you, if you know what I mean. Really pray for all of them. I mean, when, when the victim's counter is so high that you don't remember the names of all of them, that that's a problem, you know. And, uh... We have, um, how many mass shootings a year? A lot of mass shootings a year in America. I mean, we've, I mean, there was like, what, two in Alabama, my state, in, um, what, three, four months? There was one in Stockton, one in, uh, Birmingham, I don't know where in Birmingham, but yeah, that's where I was born, Birmingham, so, yeah. But anyway, we're not talking about that incident. That's uh, probably another video. The fact that I will never run out of this content for as long as I'm alive and as long as I'm doing this YouTube channel is uh, kind of disturbing to me. But anyway, stay safe, guys. All right, stay safe. Um, just please just stay safe most of all because this world is gone absolutely berserk as of late it's going more berserk every day it's getting more berserk by the day stay safe stay sane peace out love y'all